Hi, welcome to Wing Chun lesson. This lesson will cover Wun Dame and its application. Grandmaster Chung will now demonstrate the wooden dummy techniques. The wooden dummy is an important training element in the Wing Chun system for proper development of Wing Chun technique. The Wing Chun wooden dummy is an excellent substitute when no live partner is available. All the combat techniques in the Wing Chun system are found in the wooden dummy sequences. The Wing Chun practitioner trains these techniques and all that goes with them. Proper footwork, positioning, placement of the blocks, distance judgment, balance, timing, flow, and coordination. The three arms on the dummy can represent strikes to the upper and middle gates and can be either punches or kicks. The leg of the dummy teaches the Wing Chun practitioner to move from one side of the dummy to the other, keeping in mind where the opponent's lead leg is at all times. A word of caution. You should begin your training on the wooden dummy by keeping the movements slow and light. Contact response is an advantage of the wooden dummy training, but the hard wood can be very unforgiving. Not until the absolute correct placement of the blocks and strikes are achieved should you slowly begin to increase the speed and power of the movements. Eventually, arm conditioning will be added to the list of wooden dummy training benefits. Grandmaster Chung will now demonstrate the movements again in slow motion. The entry technique, grab and pull into the palm strike, Stomp kick to the knee. Bon sao and tan sao. Con sao. And arm break. The second set is a virtual mirror image of the first set with some marked exceptions. No stomp kick to the knee. Quan sao instead of bon sao. And low palm strike before the arm break. The triple pak sao, chun sao, and side palm strike sequence. Con sao, and arm break sequence again. Low bon sao, pak sao, bilji strike, side kick. Repeat, and close with the con sao, and arm break sequence. The triple gan sao, low palm strike, and high palm strike, double low, and double high palm strikes. Jut Sao, Biu Sao, Jut Sao, Quan Sao, Ban Sao, and again the Kan Sao and Arm Break sequence. Gum Sao, Tarn Sao, Kan Sao, and Arm Break. Triple Kan Sao and triple kick sequence. Con sao and arm break. Bon sao, elbow strike, side palm strike. Con sao sequence, arm break. Triple low bon sao, tan sao, and leg sweep. Con Sao sequence and arm break. The triple Beel Sao, Chun Sao, side palm strike sequence. Close with the Con Sao 
and on brake. Then the left jut sal, eel sal, jut sal sequence, con sal, quen sal, and bon sal. Close with the con sal and low palm strike to finish. Yeah, I have Shifu Eric here to help me to demonstrate the applications. First technique is the entry technique. Entry that uh, you bridging the gap. So the entry technique is you ping up, you bring up your, you bring up your knee at the same time you occupy the center, and then you charge it from here, and then you come up here. All right, so I do it again. Entry. Here. Right. So this can this this shield this shield is taking care of the area in the lower gay. If if I go in, he kick, and then I'm using this shield to block the kick, so I don't need to use divert my defense for my arm or attacking technique for my arm to block that kick, right? So I'll just do it slowly again. Entry, right, grab, and palm strike, and then leg, hit, and storm to the knee. And a punch comes in, uh, a, a back fist comes in, and then a round punch, and turn, and then a round punch comes in, hun, right? and then arm break from here. So we'll do this again from the other side. Entry, parks out to the elbow and palm strike to the neck and come control the elbow and at the same time you storm the knee, back fist round punch, you turn into a tan sao from the bong, and then a gang, check the elbow, and you swing around here, arm break, you apply pressure, pulling back here, push here. So with the arm break, you have several options, right? You have an opening here, you have an opening here, or you can follow through with here and you can do that. I'll do it once more. Entry, reverse uh, strike, bong to the block, to the punch, tan, gang, hun, right, and then arm break so you can practice the variations from there. The application for this one would be your entry here and um, and if he step back you check this arm from here park sao and palm strike and then uh, maybe a back fist comes in and a round punch comes in you do a quan sao and turn and palm strike a gang for the round punch uh, park sao you hun you hun from here park sao 
and then arm break from here. Same thing, arm break, you have this option, you have doors opening there, or you can follow through by uh, strike to the pressure point here. So let's do it again. Entry, yeah. back fist, quan, tan, gang, hun, pak sao, palm strike, and then arm break. You can follow through with those variations. Okay, once more. Entry. Back fist, quan, tan, gang, palm strike, arm break, follow through, or you can strike to the bridge of the nose. This will cover his side, so you can see what's going on, or strike here, and then you can strike to the, or you can follow through with just once more. Huh? So the application for this would be, say if three punches comes in, one, two, three, and you, right, so again, right, one, two, three, right, so you push this arm and you get to the blind side and then you come back underneath here, right, so once more, one, two, three, you push this Pull this push at the wrist here. You push this to hit your shoulder here, but before it hit, you push it out with the bills out, and then you drop your elbow, you catch the elbow here, and you strike here. And you can go on top of this arm, or you can go underneath this arm, it doesn't matter. All right, so once more. Okay, again. All right. Pax out, pax out. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. And then I'll come around the uh, on top of the arm this time. One, two, three. All right. Come around. So I'm still on the blind side. I'm covering the elbow and I come out. So let's turn around the other side. One, two, right, come around here. Okay, again. One, two, three. So, controlling the elbow, you're away from this free arm. Okay. So, one, two, three. You pull this arm to hit your shoulder, and then you push this arm up, catch here. So, when you catch here, See the, the head follows up, so expose the neck. So you got from here, one, two, three. All right, let's try. And then let's try here. And then the other side comes in, down, around here, and punch here. Okay, again. One, two, three. Okay, again, one, two, okay, so you're using the elbow, you're using the elbow to open up the target, or you can strike here, always strike, always good to strike to the bridge of the nose, because you block his vision, right, and then you come back here. The other one comes in here. Right. So 
So it opens up for the neck and then strike. Um, this part can be do it with a low punch from here and then you check this arm strike to the eye right? and then you move out and kick to the ribs or you can kick lower to the to the uh, to the knee okay one oops, two three four right? and then, okay. one two, three, okay, let's turn around the other side, one, two, three, right, okay, one, two, three, right, one, two, three, okay, Four. one, two, three, and then the other arm comes in, one, check here, and then you kick from there. And then a round punch comes in from here, strike, arm break. All right, so one, two, three. All right. Arm break. So, same thing, you got those options here. You got those options here. Okay. Um, this part is uh, double hyun sao. A punch comes in, you can go, a uh, straight punch comes in, say, and then you go underneath and above. Arm break. Or you can do it with one arm. Break. And then the other side. You can come back underneath. Arm break, hoon. Or arm break, hoon. Inside. Or arm break, back to the outside and come back to the inside. All right, the other side comes in. So you still when you're inside, you're still staying away from that free arm. Right, so your arm, this arm comes along. You can take care of it from here. Right, so when you take this around, arm break, always take it around at the wrist here. If you take it around here, it's going to hit you. Right, 
take it around at the wrist. Right. So your arm, your elbow is very close to the elbow. He moved this arm, then you can, you can respond to it. Um, this application is uh, you do with three punches one, two, three, right? Jat sao, biu sao, jat sao, and hun, strike, and then gang, and quan, bong, palm strike, right? Now let's start again. Jat sao, biu sao, jat sao, hun, gang, quan, I'm strong. Jet so, feel so, jet so, hin, gang, bong. I'm strong. Okay. Now, you watch my finger, that's pointing to his eyes. When you do a jet so, feel so, my finger is pointing to his eyes. And jet so. And here you push this arm down, but don't swing him too far, then you have to catch him again. So you, that's plenty, right? So he comes back. Bong. Now catch the elbow here, so you're controlling this arm here, and you on the blind side, so you don't need to deal with the other arm. You're still fighting on the blind side. Your eyes are watching for balance opening, elbow, arms crossed. Okay, the other side. Jin, Gang, Bong. Catch the elbow here. So palm strike. Okay. Just so. Just so. Jin. Um, bong. Let's try. Jet so, view so. so. Right, one more time. Jet so, view so. Jet so. Gang. Right, and then the other arm comes along. Gang. Palm strike. Arm break. So you have. You have all these options in here because you're at controlling the blind side by controlling his elbow. Your center line is almost parallel to his shoulder. Right. Okay. This section will be dealing with a kick. Um, so from here, a kick comes in and a punch comes in. Right. And then you... So notice I take a side step and also keep a distance from his arm. Right, from here. And then check this. And then you move in from here. Gum sao, tan sao, hun, 
Hyun Lap. And then you have a palm strike here. Right. Now, when you do the gum sao, make sure your hand is not like this, right? You, you lock up, lock up this part here. So you you hit with this part, not like that. Then if you hit you here, you do damage to your wrist. Let's go the other side. So avoid your side step, avoid the force, make your opponent chase you, catch here, control the elbow, and control the elbow. Okay. And then the other side. So you sidestep, get away from the direction of the force, by stepping behind, control, control the center line, catch here. Right. When you do this Hyun Sao, don't stick to the arm, but because you want it free and fast that's Hyun Sao and then you catch here one more time okay. This segment will be uh, combining the footwork with the arm movement. So the Gang Sao, Gang Sao, Gang Sao, Gang Sao, you kick to the shin here and he steps back, you kick, or you go Gang Sao, Gang Sao, kick to the shin here and then you storm. So the three kicks, kick, kick, kick. You can switch the combinations, right? So you go, gang, 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 kick here. Or if he step back and you kick to the body, if he stays there, if he stays there, you storm the knee. Just come on. One, two, three. Or one, two, three, kick, and then you're in to here. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oops, sorry. Okay. One, right. And then he goes back, kick, and then you follow through from here. Let's do the other side. One, two, three. One, two, three. Or 
if he stays there. One, two, three. And then this comes in, down, and break. One, two, three, and break. Uh, this sequence deals with the uh, bong sao and elbow strike. Punch comes in, elbow strike, come up here, and then you strike here, come up here. Bong, elbow strike. Bong, elbow strike. the other side. Bong, lap, elbow strike. Strike to the neck and strike to the ribs. Bong, lap, strike. And the other side, bong, strike, and right. The contact area of the elbow is about, right, not inside, but about. Bong, lap, strike. Pull. And then the gang uh, punch comes in. Gang. Bong, lap, strike. Bong, strike. Gang. Arm break. Um, this segment dealing with uh, low bong sao, you got one, two, three, and then a punch comes in on top here, and it comes in up, right? And then a sweep, throw. One, two, three, turn, hun, and then One, two, three, turn in. And then sweep from here. Okay. One, two, three, turn in. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, the other side. One, two, three. One, two, three. Down here. One, two, three.
One, two, three. Now when you sweep, this way sweep, you, you drag along the floor, right? Drag along the floor. Right. This way it's called sweep. One, two, three. Right. Uh, this segment deals with the Biu Sao and Chun Sao segment. So from here, one, two, three, Biu, arms right. One, two, arms right. right. So you go from here, one, two, three. You can go underneath and pin the el trap the elbow and palm strike. So you end it up on the blind side. One, two. Okay. And then the other side. Build, 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 chin, lap, right? So lap on the elbow, so you open up target area, or you can strike up here, and then punch. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, the other side. See if you are uh, one, two, see if you get in deep in this arm, that means you can get in the beginning of this arm here. The begin the, the this part here. If you are here, then you get underneath. So that's a lap. Right. One, two. Or you can do it like this. Okay. And then you pin on the elbow. One. So the other arm comes along. Hi, uh, we're going to do some Qi Shao exercise. Um, remember we had from the previous tape, we have the roll, the rolling, and then from this roll, you can see, see my, my uh, Fuk Shao, the arm that on the outside of this arm, I can actually get in while he's turning his Bong Sao to Tan Sao, I can get in to the inside and then I can get in to the outside from here. Then we switch. So we're going to do some of this. Now if you get somebody that pushing your arm too, too hard, the energy is supposed to be going towards the, toward the center of the opponent. If his arm disappear, it's 
straight away, it will go in if it's nothing stops you, right? So, but you establish the equilibrium here. If I push out, and then he will let go and come inside, right? So I can't push out. If he push down, and I will let go because uh, I feel his energy is pushing the wrong way, I will let go. And so for him to recover, it's very difficult, right? So the energy has to go in the center. Right? Same thing in here, right? Uh, if he, his energy is not there, I can go in and strike him. Right? And same thing in here, if my energy is not there, he just goes straight in, jab my eyes from here with his bones out. Okay? Um, but if he's pushing his bones out, out and I can let him go, but this, this Qi Sao is a game, right? But it's still that you are being tested with your reflexes, okay? Now, we're going to go through some of the things that people cheat on Qi Sao. Uh, see the Fuk Sao? The reason that you need the Fuk Sao because um, if I do a lap sao here, you can do a jat sao and pin my two arms together. But if you don't have a fuk sao, say if you're pushing me like that, if you're pushing me like that, you don't have a fuk sao, then you don't have a jat sao here. Or if you're just pushing me like this, or, or just like that, so you don't have a fuk sao, that means you can't, you can't do a jat sao from here. So if you see, that's why when you do Qi Sao, you keep your eyes open, don't wander away, like Jose Feliciano. Uh, you, your eyes are looking for BOEC balance opening, arms crossed. So if you see something like that, that means you can, you can do a Jat Sao or Park Sao right, without without being trapped. Right? You can do a lap sao without being trapped. Right? So your eyes are watching for those things. So occasionally he sticks his arm out, then you can... Right? Right? You go to... You're still going to the blind side. You keep this arm away from you. If he follows you, and you pin him up with two arms. So another thing that people would do is they do, instead of Fuk Sao, they do a Fuk Sao like this and then they just keep hitting you on the chest, right? The only way you can stop is to knock them out on the face because, because you're only about three, four inches away from this person, right? But because he hasn't got a Jat Sao, then you just step in that he can't stop your palm strike from here, right? So you occupy, right? You occupy that, the center line. So you got an advantage over there. So your eyes and, right. okay. Um, now, another thing is um, the bong sao, so a lot of them, they have the bong sao like this, right? Because that is in the very bad position to already in the diagonal wrist lock here. And, you know, so you don't want to, as soon as I see this, I'll step away, I step away, and then I put him on di diagonal wrist lock here. So your bongs are supposed to be like that, not like that. Right? So your eyes are supposed to be watching those things. Yeah. Okay. And also the energy has to go out to the finger, so that you you won't be able to get uh, get uh, the, the the wrist lock applied to you. Right. 
okay now so after we run through all this um, another one that people do is from here um, so from here right using the elbow and then elbow and strike right elbow and elbow and strike right. so elbow so this this elbow is jamming up these two arms and strike uh, to defend that because elbow elbow is relying on only close quarter so so when you see somebody comes in with the elbow you just step away and then right or you could do this right you could you could pressure point here and then So the arms cross, when the arms cross, you can pin both arms together. All right, so we're going to do Another one that you get people from here, you do people switch off, do a kick, and come back. From here, switch off, kick. So you do a lap south and a kick. Lap south, kick. And so the kick is divert his his defense downward, right? And then leaving the upper gate completely wide open. Right. Um the right way to defend against the kick is you step sideways, you step away, so you away from the direction of the kick. Right? You can step either side. Okay, so you bring your arm down for a gum sao and then straight away next move is to find the nearest elbow, find the nearest elbow, okay. Right. So arms cross, I pin up his arms. I did a lap out here. It's opening because his arms jam up underneath here and I exchange. So, so if somebody does a lap out from here, you jut out from here. All right? Jut sao. Yeah. Lap sao, jap sao. Right. 
So also you get people that move very fast, but you can you can dictate the speed. You can stop if he wants to move fast. I can stop from here. I just want to. All right, so you don't need to. You can do two bongs out, two times out. Inside arm. All right. You can do two outside arm. Okay, and then the annoy annoying thing for people doing is they come in and kick your shin. Uh, well, to to eliminate that force, so if he comes in, uh, you can you can check the parallel leg. So if he kicks, you can check with the same side, right? You can check with the same side, right? So from here. Yeah. Or you can you can pick up this leg, right? Either way it doesn't matter. But that's why you gotta feel from the point of contact. There you are. This is our wound dummy session and chi sao session. But remember that we have a series of uh, Wing Chun tapes coming out, and you can get a lot of information from these tapes. And just continue training, and don't forget to consult your tape and pay attention to your instructors. Thank you. <laughs>